and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody, as we are once more going to join the Kyle Oliver RTTS. If you're just joining us for the first time, Kyle Oliver is a left-handed pitcher who is 1-0 after two starts in AA for the Tennessee Smokies. He's given up three runs over 14 innings and had 13 strikeouts for a 193 ERA. He's not really a prized prospect in the Cubs organization. He's only got a D potential, so... He needs to start improving his games and hopefully get on the right track here to get into the MLB soon. Not too, too soon. Of course, he's only 18. Can't really rush him that much. So I'm going to do the same thing as last time. So long for now. that's hit sharply toward the hole and through into left field for a one-out single. Jeff Cobb will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. One will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. They set the target in and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And there's ball one. will be fouled away. And a breaking ball is bounced out towards second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Number 13 will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Here's a swing and another chance out there at second. Throw gets him, two down. Jeff 
Cobb will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. And he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Number four will get there, and he puts it away. Number 10 will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Number 10. 
swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Hit hard toward the right side. Oh, and he botches it. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Jamal Austin will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. In there, and it's 0-1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. The runner at first with no outs here. And this is fouled straight back. Good waist pitch, one and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Number 41 will stride to the plate. He's 0 for 2 thus far. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strike. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. And this is past him at third. Down the line. It's a fair ball. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. First pitch here misses wide. 1-0. 1-0 pitch is sent toward the hold on the left side. It's going to sneak on through into left field for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Pimentel will dig in here with the bases loaded now and their best opportunity yet to get on the board. They've had it. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And not in time as the second run scores. Austin Wilson will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, you know, three straight hits are bad enough, but now he's making things even worse by falling behind the next guy. So as you see here, Oliver is removed due to injury after a lackluster performance, to say the least, where he doesn't even get out of the fifth after surrendering two runs in that inning. So it was... Uh, pretty rough game for Oliver he did have those strikeouts so he was pretty consistent getting one an inning so can't complain about that we'll simulate to the end of this game and Oliver was replaced due to injury of course and Ryan Kalish is player of the game so obviously Tennessee won it so at least Oliver is holding a victorious effort eight hits and one walk that's uh, gonna blow the whip out of proportion here and as I mentioned the five strikeouts but also the two earned runs so he's not even gonna get credit for a win or anything of course not getting through those five innings and as you see here do upgrade some of this stuff because it, it's got to get upgraded and fastball control as you all know as you all saw Fastball's out of control at the best of times. It's got that weird dip sh stuff going on there, so we're not really sure. He will upgrade it, uh, maybe level it out. And Kyle Oliver is the second worst pitcher on the team right now. He needs to improve that. Kyle Hendricks is just absolutely impressing, as he's the he's just below the MLB ace for the Cubs. Wow. I don't, I, I don't really understand that one. That's obviously a game glitch. As you see, Oliver's not on the DL, so that's good news, to say the least. Sorry, guys, I am still very tired. I just woke up. Just need to get this out. So, as always, thanks for joining us here on Yak City Gaming. Please subscribe. Watch the last episode. So long.